uh, Google has a secret algorithm that finds everybody you know, adds them to your Gmail contacts list, and somehow reveals your email address to everybody. Complete crap. If you're in my Gmail address book and I'm in yours, we're mutual friends. Don't want to hear from me anymore? Delete me. You're done. If we have a two-way relationship, Google feels there's a level of trust that we have, that we've added each other's Gmail or outside email address to our contacts list, That mean, and we're in each other's contacts list, that means we have a little more than a passing relationship. And that is what the entire Google secret social network, as we call it, is based upon. Real two-way relationships between real people that share each other's email addresses and save them to their Google contacts. There's nothing evil, there's no special algorithm, and it doesn't reveal your email address to anyone. It simply links to your public Google profile, and you have the choice to make that URL based on your Gmail address or based on a 16-digit numeric string. It's completely up to you, and you have control over all of these settings. It's in your, your Google profile, and it's in your settings under Gmail, and it's right there on a big tab that says Buzz on the very right. Very easy to control. So what does Google Buzz do for you? It delivers the promise that Twitter and Facebook have now not delivered upon. It gives you the ability to demonstrate your authority. And it creates backlinks to your site. Let's take a quick look here. As we, let me jump back real quick. So I can show you. I know you want to see this one. This is my Google profile. You can go to google.com profiles, four slash profiles, four slash Chris Wang. You will see this link about where I appeared at Club Entrepreneur last night. Logged in or not, my public profile creates hard-coded, fully followed A tags back to the site that I add and post links to. Some social sites will fool you. When you're logged in, the A tags are followed. When you log out, they're not. Mix.com Mix social bookmarking structure does this. Currently, right now, logged in or not, you will see that link, and it is fully followed. If 500 people post your blog to Buzz, you've instantly got 500 incoming links to your site. A post on Mashable the other day got 546 buzz posts off on various people's profiles. Instantly, in one day, they had 546 hard-coded A tags coming in for, at the very top of Google profiles. This is important because I believe this to be the new SEO. If I publish on Google Buzz and I get six buzz links, now my competitor gets 30 buzz links. Think of it as a vote. I would say get his post about Google Buzz using the same keywords is going to outrank mine because this is just like social bookmarking. Google can uh, count how many times people buzzed your blog and found enough value in it to add it to their Google profile on their buzz tab. I would say this is some very serious uh, indicators of quality that Google can manage to find and everything you do in Google Buzz everywhere you participate gives you a link with your name and a link back to your Google business card your Google profile if you've ever seen a Twitter fo a profile or a Facebook profile you might get one link and you have to link to your squeeze page because you want to get opt-ins I've seen say like Robert Scoble's Google profile has 30 links on it to everything he does. So if you want to follow Robert Scoble on some minor social site that no one's ever heard of, believe me, he's there and you can follow him there. But the idea is that you can link to all of your sites. Now, some people might be interested in my product about get it to the inbox about uh, delivering email through double opt-in lists and how to avoid spam filters. Now, someone else might be more interested in another one of my products. Somebody else might be interested in following me on Twitter. Somebody might want to follow my videos on YouTube. I, I've picked up roughly 500 followers on YouTube in the last few months. 
But it has all these links, and people can choose where to follow you. It's your business card. It's about you. It's not about Facebook. It's not about Twitter. It's not about the social site. It's, it's all about you, and there's nothing there that you don't choose to put. So who is using Google Buzz? Mashable is using Google Buzz highly. And you can see here that they've added a Google Buzz button. And uh, we were one of the first to show people how to code in a Google Buzz button, since there's many, many plugins that you can add right into WordPress. Another reason for using WordPress on your domain. If you want to code your own Google Buzz button and your PHP, you can take a look at my site, uh, googlingsocial.com. The post top post is PHP code to code your own button. I'm a, I'm a control freak. I like writing my own code. I do not like plugins. I like knowing where the code's going to appear and why it's going to appear. I do not like trusting a bunch of plugins. However, if you don't write code, you can certainly just simply Google Mashable Google Buzz WordPress plugin. You can find this post and they review four of them. It even comes with a snappy little picture that says Buzz this. But you can see here that, but, uh, that Mashable got 529 Buzz posts onto various Google profiles. This was two days ago. I'm sure they have much more. Notice that they only got 61 shares on Facebook and they got 1,195 tweets. Buzz was nine days old and they got 546 incoming links to just one post. That's a pretty darn in good indicator that in, in, in its first week, it's producing 50% of the numbers of Twitter, and it's on my Google profile, not lost among, amongst how many millions of tweets come in per hour. Also, Pete Cashmore, the, the, the uh, man that created Mashable, which I happen to like a whole lot better than TechCrunch, a lot better than ReadWriteWeb, and a lot better than uh, Lifehacker. Mashable will give you a lot closer uh, real-world truth. And maybe TechCrunch, who knows what Arrington writes about. He'll, he'll, he'll create some crazy stuff over there for traffic. I, I, I see that smile. We all know. Like uh, Google's going to uh, acquire Twitter. Boy, he got burnt on that one. He got a lot of backlash over there. But I prefer Pete Cashmore, and he's, he's pre-produced uh, 20,000 followers on his Buzz profile within the first week. That's pretty big. Even Robert Scoble has only managed to pull about 8,000. So here is what your Buzz page looks like. When you click that folder link in Gmail, this is what Buzz looks like. And it'll give you a pretty well-known what-are-you-doing type box at the top, just like Facebook and Twitter. Now, you have to click on that box and put your cursor in it, and you'll see things enabled, like here, uh, the link in the photo, the link box. You can make it public. You can make your post private and address it to just people that you know in your friends list, and it will not appear on your public buzz tab on your profile. So click in that box. You can add your link. It will create a very nicely little formatted, pretty synopsis, much like Facebook does. And you can also choose a thumbnail from the parent post to bring even more notice to your buzz. So having an, a, maybe a thumbnail in your blog post about your topic or a logo on your page that's small and easily grabbed rather than a big, long, wide header can come in very handy when people use uh, buzz to post your blog post to their buzz pages and when you're at the very top of buzz you'll also see people that are new following you new people you've added to your address book that you haven't followed yet and you can simply click the following link and, and, and follow the person and they'll appear in buzz uh, Google does not shove a whole a lot of followers just because we're in each other's email books does not mean we automatically follow each other on buzz you can pick and choose who you decide to follow. And it's just that simple. Click in the box. You'll see this below the uh, line here, before the uh, HR line. Uh, post a link in a photo button. Paste the link uh, copied from the address bar in. You can make it public. You can make it private. Hit add link so you can see what it looks like when you hit post it goes live. It's a little weird because you don't see any of this until you click in a box. 
Google has always been a little geek-centric and a little bit harder to use than maybe some.